Hello, welcome back to friends, it's me, Orville. We are back in our campaign of Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we were fighting a really big demon down here and killed him. Yay. Um, in between episodes, I sold all the stuff that we got not necessary anymore. What's this? Nah. Don't go down. Um, interestingly, we found the way to the dungeons. We want the way to the dungeons because there is something inside that we need to make our troops strong. I'm not sure. Probably we are not fighting with the it looks like we are not fighting uh, an army with our army, but only I thought I really thought um, um, <clears throat> we would do this just to make an army inside of um, inside of treasure less strong okay uh, this is the okay i see and okay, wait what what was that sorry What just happened? Oh, come on. There's a trap and we can't get rid of it because we don't have anyone with trickery. Yay. So, okay. Mm, we strong and we didn't die. You. That's okay. That was an okay trap. We wait until the snow is over. The snow is over. Wisp of madness. Ah. Ah. That was that. Demonic spirits haunt the walls of the dungeon, and while their constant whispering never becomes loud enough to allow intelligible speech to be heard, Constant murmurs grate on the nerves. After every ten minutes spent in the dungeon, non chaotic evil creatures must succeed to support and will have to resist taking two points of charisma damage as the whispering slowly drives them mad. Okay. So you got charisma damage, you got charisma damage, and the pig probably as well. Yes. Why is the pig slow? Why is just the pig slow? Interesting. Okay, then, can you just attack this guy? Let him come to us. Let them move up to us. Mm. 
we've got a lot of oh, critical hit points of damage. You stay here. Then you who Yes, you're right. Retreat is not an option. Peak, move forward as slow as possible. And you? Oh, come on. It's not okay to hit my dear Reggio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that because you are the most, most wild creature in my, <laughs> in my troop. Reggio is so much faster. Than the than the paladin, that's really amazing. Okay, oh, you're so slow. You're so slow. You probably think this pig is just harmless. Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, you're a great man, you, you killed it. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, let's connect all. Don't need that. Yeah, we don't have a bot pick. Can anyone tell me why Bullshit is not around anymore? I'm really pissed off about him. Um, really? Because I would have taken him with us. Yaniel, an old woman half elf by her appearance, uh, hangs limping in the shackles. Her head is slumped down to her chest and strands of dirty grey hair cover her face. Her rags don't conceal the poor woman's horrible condition. Oh, that's not nice. Her body is covered in old scars and fresh wounds. A piece of flesh has been torn from her left leg, and there are numerous fang marks on her arms. Her right wrist appears to have been gnawed, and the hand has withered. Okay. It's hard to believe that life still lingers in such a mutated body, but the woman raises her head with effort. Clear blue eyes stare back at you from under her grey eyelashes. Crusaders here. I thought I was delirious when I heard the sounds of a battle after so many years. Are we really retaking Drazen? Oh my god. I'm really... I, I also really mad at me because I didn't take... Um, 
my my nice witch with me. She's so great in some of her answers. Who are you? How did you end up here? Do you know what a swan? <laughs> this is great. This could be, would be great <laughs> to ask first. Uh, why did the demons do all of all this to you? Break the shackles. I will help you. Of course, we'll do this first. Three woman leans heavily against the wall. Thank you. After so many years, finally. I mean, this was this was the only thing you could do first. <laughs> I mean, who are you? How did you end up here? My name won't mean anything to you. It's been so many years. My name is Yaniel. I used to be a knight of the citadel when Drazen was still a proud crusader stronghold. On the day Drazen fell, I was covering the refugee retreat. And as I was taken alive by the spawn of the abyss as they flooded the city. Ever since then, I've been locked up here within these walls that were once my home. Now a prison and a torture chamber. Ah, yeah, Yanyu. Why that name is remembered throughout Mendeth to this day. Friends, we are in the presence of a living legend. Or rather, a living, half-living one. Ah, oh, he's great too. <laughs> Sina Kurtin back and sounded yelp. You've been in this dungeon since the day Drazen fell, sister. But it's over 70 years. Yeah, I'm impressed by your resilience, Knight. I wonder if I will keep my mind and self-control after so many years of torture. It's a serious question. Are you feeling quite well, Paradictor? That's an awful bold confession for you. <laughs> no, pays no attention to the Azimuth Barb comment. <laughs> ah, yeah, they're great. Hey, Finna and the Talking Weapons talking to us. Yaniel? Yaniel herself? You don't know me, although I didn't mind meeting you, but I went to your memorial service. I was, it was painful for everyone, but your memory brought people together. Many say that we can't give up because Yaniel didn't give up till the end. So all this is, this is not in vain. Only I thought you were younger. Ah, Finian, you still believe that you are really old, uh, really young. I have no idea who this is. The name of this woman must not be important enough for me to remember her. <laughs> name you. <laughs> God, you must not have been that valuable if in all these years it never occurred to anyone to learn whether you were still alive or not. You're not forgotten, Yaniel. Your comrades spread word of your heroism. You're still honored among the Crusaders. Okay, I mean, we don't know her, but actually most of my companions know her, so we take the second one, I guess. I would ask how that could possibly help me now, but... It would be wrong, wouldn't it? All our lives, we are told that memory is better than oblivion, and respect is better than scorn. It will be interesting to feel like a hero everyone admires, admires and holds up as an example. Woman smiles strangely. Remembering the crusaders of the past was the only thing that saved my people from becoming completely feral. Our tribe was forgotten by everyone, but we kept the memory of the Crusades alive. Without it, we would have just perished in the dark. Okay, so you saw Dresden before it fell, and the Sword of Moena, and the days of the First Crusade. Oh yes, I saw all that. One smiles a strange smile. 
The walls of the citadel seemed indestructible, like mountains, but they were not presence through the fences. The sword walls, it, only, and it alone weakened the demons and stopped them from teleporting here freely. It gave the defenders their hope. So it was until the ambitious and arrogant young Staunton brought the city to ruin. He stole the banner and doomed Dredden to fall. Staunton was once a strong fighter, the bane of demons, but he became the ex executioner of his comrades. Such things happen. Do you know where the soul fighter is? I feel its presence even now when the sword is weak and thorn. It is near in this very citadel. There is a passage from my prison to it. Keep going through the dungeon and you'll find the banner. Okay. Why did the demons do all this to you? Um, well, she probably helped a lot of people escape and live. The demons. If you think about it, they are interesting creatures. They appeared when mortal souls touched the fabric of the abyss, and they always carry it with them. The imprint of humanity it is distorted but visible. You might expect entirely inhuman thought and action from the spawn of the plane of primal chaos, but in fact, they are often mundane and relatable. And one of the manifestations of this deep humanity is the demon's love of trophies. I am one such trophy. I am a living reminder of the day that they washed over the strongest crusader fortress like a tidal wave and turned it into their den. Okay, stay here and wait for help. My people will find you when the city has been free. No! Just go outside. It's just a few stairs outside. Bring her outside. Oh, this is so stupid. We, uh, there is more than enough time. Okay, we probably don't take her out then. Now oh, we can take an athletics check. To get there, and we can open this door. I hope we don't need them. And there is another trap. Of course, there is. Okay. No. First of all, stay here. You. There are some bubble. They are not really strong. Athletics twenty eight checks. Let's make a safe game. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> then let's try this mathematics check. Wait, where are we now? Really? Ah, the athletics chest the check just did remove the rubble there. Interesting. Hmm, this is why I took the thing with me. I feel Lucas also did the athletics check. Um, 
Philomucus. No, no. Stay here. Peek. You go there. Let them come to us. Mm. How do we do this best? They will come to us, so let's move there. We get outside and wait outside for them. Like here. Oh. There is an archer as well. Interesting. <laughs> then that move there. <laughs> that two hour, let's move outside. Really? He rolled a 20. 220. Was it two twenties? At uh, first he, he didn't need 20, did he? He needed a 17. Really? <laughs> That's not nice. Okay, let's build a peak before it goes. Goes down there and kills this guy. Another one. Should <laughs> the also get some damage? This one. Then you. Let's do some heroism. Target gets plus two more bonus on attack rolls, saves, and skill checks. Let's do it on the peak or on Rancho. Okay, on the peak. On Rancho, it wouldn't be there. Okay, so you have to go around, and move this way, Reggio, yes, good no, good no. Hey, come on. Don't kill Rachel. Bad boys. Bad, bad boys. You are not the nice guys, I know that.
Hey, Siva, you're at the front already. Mm -hmm. Let's heal everyone because we can and move away from the trap. She exploded. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's move in this direction and hope that there are not too many traps around. Oh, hey, there is a trap. <laughs> Down there, there are people. This is the thing that we saw with this. So we need to get down there. No, I don't need this. It's there. It's just here. And let's just move the pig first. <sighs> this was risky business. I don't know if I can rely on you. At least you didn't die already. Yep, I'll try to. Thank you. there. You've got the magic thing, but you don't have to... Is it more skill? Okay, no, it doesn't matter. I'll give it to you next time. Oh, look at that. Prentice lock. Pick the lock. Oh, the lock is jammed now. We can't open the door. Yeah. Great. As I said, I hope we don't need to pick locks to get somewhere important. <laughs> Ooh. Good. Finnish Minotaur Assault. That's a level 12 monster. That's okay.
half of his hit points are nearly gone. Peak. Kill. Good. Rachel killed even more. Then your throw a snowball. Yay! Oh, he has an energy resistance cold. That's stupid. <laughs> I should have looked at that. <laughs> um, yeah. Just kill him. Uh, as I said, I want to ace it more. See that you are the slowest, always. You are so slow, normally the action is gone. Start a target. That's nice, that didn't do any damage. You will be dead before you can do anything about this stupid Minotaur. Let's take the magical weapon. And now, let's move there. Sila. This was okay. It goes down, that's good. It tells us that this is the right direction. Oops. These are shears. Okay, let's do this fight and then we'll... Oh, Sina, you're second. That's great. Can even attack one guy. Okay, um, how about these shears? What do we know? Acid, fire, and cold immunity. But they have no will and no fortitude. They have some spell resistance, but yeah. No, ah, uh, I hate my fingers when they are on the keyboard. Kill this here. Probably. Oh, come on, a critical hit. That was sheer luck. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, so stupid. Why are you so slow, Darren? Joran Wayne, Stanton Wayne, oh, he's like, um, 
he's not Staunton, but he has the same um, family name, so he's probably a brother, son, father. Compared to the deplorable state of the city is in, this room is remarkably clean and orderly. I think the furnishings look solid and made to last. A man you met in Tenabreth is standing by the anvil, blacksmith Joran Wayne. Interesting, he's also here, so he came with his brother. Yes, I can remember, he was the brother of, of Staunton. On seeing you, he raises his bushy grey brows in surprise. So this is who's been making all the noise around here. Well, come on in, have a seat. What are you doing here? What I do everywhere, I forge metal. Everyone can fight, right? Breaking, destroying anyone you ask, they are ready to do it. Trading things, on the other hand, that takes a little extra neck. How did you get here? Well, you know, my brother is here. You know him, Staunton? Yes, yes, I know. He is a noose. Waiting for him in Canabras for treason. I told him not to get involved, but uh, with that crazy woman, Minago. But when did he ever listen to me? The horned wench promised him heaps of gold and he believed her. So he came here with her. He's some sort of military leader here. But he has no one to lead except for all sorts of vermin. Okay, this, this doesn't make sense. You know that. And I, to everyone, he's a traitor worse than a regal. But, no, but to me, he's still my brother. I couldn't leave him. Bad lot that he is. I followed him, tried to talk him out of it. But it didn't work. He wouldn't listen. Now I've taken up here, working like I do. Okay. No, I don't understand. <laughs> there are some limits. <laughs> Then them this family. It's Dalton here. Where else could he be? Not in Kinabras, that's for sure. The dwarf gives you a reproachful look. Of course, he's done things in the past, but the Crusaders just never cut him any slack. He tried for a decade to atone for that for what he did, then two decades, then three. Half a century, and still they treated him like dirt. Well, he could have left. <laughs> so my brother lashed out. He did a bad thing, sure, but who wouldn't in his place? Well, you, he could have left. He's not made of stone or copper, even if he's a dwarf. That crazy eyeless hag with horns, she got into his head. Demons are like that, you know, they can tempt. Among the Crusaders, my brother was the lowest of the low. But here he commands power and respect, and he doesn't think of the cost. <laughs> Ch Choran waves his hand clearly vexed. So you are crazy as well. I'm pretty sure about that. Every betrayer has their own sob story to excuse their, action, their actions, and each one thinks they are and from the rest. That <laughs> they alone should be understood and shown mercy. I'm sick of hearing it. Yes, Rachel, you are great. <laughs> no, I'm not making excuses for him. You're just making excuses for yourself. My brother is a dum-dum, and he'll get his... I'm not talking about mercy either. It's just sad it ended up this way. If everything turned out differently, maybe he'd be storming Dresden with you. Until today, Yaniel was kept and tortured here. He was the hero of the First Crusades and your friend. How could Staunton stand by and let that happen? What? The dwarf seems stunned. We thought Yaniel was dead. My brother mourned her death as much as the fall of Dresden. She 
He couldn't be here. My brother would have known. He would have done something. Go and talk to Yaniel if you don't believe me. I have to choose whether I believe you or trust everything I know and love about my brother. I'll choose the latter. Staunton wouldn't allow Yaniel to be treated cruelly, and that means you're either lying or mistaken. You may have noticed lately that your brother has changed somewhat. Befriending demons leaves it its mark. I fear his personal moral standards may have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to be more precise, I'd say they are currently hovering somewhere around the level of the abyss. <laughs> Aaron, you're great. <laughs> I don't believe it. Demons are bad enough, but Staunton torturing Yaniel? Listen, I know my brother. I know how low he has fallen, but that simply isn't possible. We're storming Dresden. We've nearly conquered the city. You're free. Am I? So we have to fight him. The blacksmith shakes his head and shows you his hands. See for yourself. I'm not bearing any shackles. What keeps me here is stronger than chains. It's called brotherly love. It's called stupidity. And you can't free me from it. Even Staunton himself couldn't break it, no matter how hard he tried. Yes, it's not stupidity, it's really, really great stupidity. Helping my enemies makes you an enemy defend yourself. I have to go. Well, if we don't kill him now, we probably have to kill him later. And he's making weapons for them. Let's kill him. Okay, this will be in this session. Oh no, I'll stop it for today. We start the fight next session. See you soon. Bye.